In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about how to use the 3D rotation tool and the 3D translation tool. And so just create some text and select it and make it into a symbol, a movie clip. Let's make this text. Yeah, text. Oops, I mean, oh, the name is text too. Make it a movie clip, doesn't matter what the reg registration point is. And let's put, let's use the 3D translation tool now, I mean rotation tool, and when you use it, you have these little circles right here. The green, I mean if you were to move this around, move around the blue, it's just going to move the um, rotation of the text, as you can see. The red, you would move the X. You can move it um, forwards or backwards, however you like. And this little green one lets you move it from left to right, as you can see here. And the orange lets you move it however you like. It's pretty much all, all the green and the, the red and the blue combined. And you can get this awesome effect of text. And you can mess around with this. But if you were to look, it doesn't have 3D. Like, uh, you see it's 3D, but it doesn't have like a full 3D kind of thing going on. And you're going to have to do that manually if you want to um, want that effect to happen. And uh, that's going to take too long to show, but that's, I'll have to show it another time. But you, you get the point that the blue pretty much rotates it. The green, left to right. The red, up and down and the orange is pretty much free for all now let's put this I don't know like 3d like oh whoops it's backwards is it I think it's put awesome wrong whoops oh well I don't care anyway um let's go to the 3d translation tool and it pretty much is pretty simple you you can move the 3d um, object up or move it across the x-axis and you get the Z which pretty much means um, um, backwards or upwards like um, not left or right but it's just zooming in or zooming out of the text and it's pretty much is simple but if you were to use the 3d position and view on the properties panel you have this thing called the vanishing point which is kind of like this little grid thing. Let's move this grid to the corner. So just increase, decrease the X and increase the Y. And if we were to move the Z, you see that the Z is now moving towards the vanishing point, which pretty much means when the um, text reaches the vanishing point, it's pretty much going to be gone. It's going to get smaller and smaller. It's pretty infinite. Or you can move it away, and this is pretty useful when you want to control your animations, or you know your 3D objects. And that's it for the translation tool and the 3D rotation tool. It's pretty simple to use, but very powerful. Before I finish, I adjusted the um, text a little with the 3D rotation tool, and that's it. Let me discuss how to use these 3D position and view properties. So minimize everything. And pretty much it's pretty simple. You can move the X, you can move the Y, and you can set the Z. You can't mess with the width or height just yet because it does it manually. You can't really change it, but it tells you anyway. You can set the vanishing point just like last time, as you can see. And the perspective view pretty much is um how the user would see it in perspective like it moves it back X Y and Z it's pretty much for all of these but you know the lower it goes the farther away it goes from the vanishing point the higher it goes it's going to be closer to the vanishing point until it's pretty much disappeared as you can see so you can make that really cool effect of it just coming out at you like this pretty awesome eh? sadly you're gonna have to animate that yourself and that's pretty much it for the 3d position and uh, view tool Thanks for watching.